Hi, so uh, welcome, this is Claire Louise Hardy, I'm the Thrifty Stitcher and tonight I'm going to be showing you a little sewing gadget. Now, if you know me in real life, I am a total... Hi there, London, <laughs> London Arise, Nickety, hi, thanks for joining. Um, so if any of you do know me in real life, if you come to one of my sewing classes or if you are... Hi there, thanks for coming. Um, coming joining anyway I am a total gadget freak this entire studio is full of hi Lauren how are you doing um, anyway my whole studio is full of sewing gadgets I'm just nuts for them hi there hi Maison Fleur thanks for joining um, so I thought tonight I would have a little play with something that I've just discovered that hey I am totally gutted this is one of those ideas that is so simple that you think, oh my goodness, if I had thought of this, I would be rich. Anyway, um, it is a pocket template. And so if you're a sewer, um, one of the things that you sometimes might wanna do if you're sort of pattern hacking or you're playing with a pattern is add, a hi there, Ruthie. Um, so we're talking about pockets tonight, if you've just joined. So you might want to, you've got a pattern that you love and you want to add a pocket to it and then you've got to do all the boring maths to work out how to do the pocket. So for ages I thought I should just copy my favorite pocket pattern and sometimes I keep the pocket pattern and then I lose it. And then Prim, very clever people, fantastic haberdashery brand, they have come up with a set of pocket templates that take all the work out of making pockets. So there's two of them. So this one is, can you see that? That's a sort of shaped pocket. And in this packet, you get three sizes, small, medium, and large. And then they've got the slightly smaller one. So these are the ones that you would probably put onto maybe a shirt. So they're sort of a straight pocket. And again, you've got small, medium, and large. So I, oh, cool, you've got them in the shop, yay. <laughs> So I am going to show you how you use them. So the first thing you do is you take them out of the packet and they come in two halves like this for each size. So I've got one half that I need to draw around and cut out my shape totally. And can you see it's got these little holes? So we're just going to put a little mark on that. And then the other half is a pressing tool. So I've cut one out. And then all I need to do, so I hope you can uh, see what I'm doing here. Um, all I need to do is just to mark the pressing line. And this is just to line up my pressing tool. So I have just got a piece of tailor's chalk. I could use any kind of marking pencil. So lots of people have got different preferences. If you like sewing, you've probably got your favorite. Um, so I'm just putting some rough little lines where all of that is. Nothing too like swanky. Hi! <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so this is really just uh, a genius idea. I mean, it just takes all the hard work out of making pockets. Not that there's anything really complicated about drawing out shape, but with these angle pockets, I always kind of get them slightly wonky when I make my own templates. So um, now that I've got this little line drawn out, so hi there, hey, how you doing? Um, you might kind of see the chalk, doesn't really come out so well on camera. Anyway, so I've got those marks lined up and they're just to help me position my pressing tool. So um, Prim, if you don't know the brand, do amazing instructions. So they've done a video on how to use this pocket template themselves, but also they know that you're gonna probably lose the packet that you bought the stuff in. So they've given you really clear diagrams on how to use it. So there are diagrams on how to use this half of the template. And there's also diagrams on how to use this half. I mean, it's kind of overkill, but that's why I love this brand because everything they sell does what it says on the tin. Um, so then I'm gonna position this and I'm gonna position it with the instructions up just in case I needed a little reminder. So I'm just lining it up with those chalk lines. They are amazing, aren't they? Um, and then I just fold around. So I'm gonna see if I can get this into a better shot. So I fold around and it's quite sturdy sort of uh, plasticized cardboard. So they will last a while. And I just have my fabric really flush. Now I am using a mini iron. Now, 
I love this for doing little sewing tutorials because the big iron takes up the whole shot. So can you see how now I've pressed that side? So then I'm just going to come to the bottom edge. I know it's really cute, isn't it? But actually it's a really great iron if you go to sewing workshops or if you have a limited amount of space. So I'm right next to my sewing machine here. So let me just position that so you guys can see it. I'm just going to pull that back. So I'm just pressing the first half of that shape. Now this is the bit that always foxes me because um, I'm a bit slapdash. So sometimes I get my points a bit wonky. So no chance of that with this template. And then I'm going to do that second half. The, uh, the iron is also a prim iron, so it's a really nifty little gadget that I use um, when I go on demos and stuff, so when health and safety is an issue and when I only need to do tiny little bits of pressing. So if you um, do a lot of sort of, uh, I don't know, small craft projects and you're not needing to do a lot of pressing, this is really nifty. So it's really comfortable to hold and it's got steam in it, which most travel irons don't, and it's got actually, it's got a little bit of weight to it. So it's one of my favourite tools in this sort of environment where I'm videoing or I'm teaching um, or if I go on demos and stuff. And then by demos, I mean sewing demos. Not, I don't go on demos and demonstrate about sewing, although I would like to. Maybe I should. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> so now I'm just going to press this side. And so at the top of my pocket, I want to do a double turned hem. Now I've actually got some rubber thimbles that I use and I really wish I'd put this one on because the steam is shooting forward. So that's the sides done. So I'm just going to come in and show you the top. So I'm going to press a small fold along the top. Now if I was to do a pocket like this with just a small fold. Hi there Beatrice! <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, if I was just to leave the hem at the top of the pocket like this, it's going to fray. It's going to fray quite a lot. And then as you put your hand in and out, the whole thing's going to fall apart over time. So, again, nifty, clever little prim people have put a perforated edge. So I've got my first fold. And then I fold it a second time, creating a double turned hem at the top of my pocket. Genius, huh? So, I mean, this really could not be easier. I haven't had to do any maths, and all the pressing work has been helped by the cardboard. Really wish I'd used my rubber thimble. Uh, they're little silicon thimbles that you put on these fingers. So, my friend Lauren did a little video about those last week. So, I pressed that. So, I've pressed all of the sides of my pocket, and now I'm just going to slip this out. And you can see that my pocket is now all prepared, ready to stick on my shirt. Although <laughs> it's a bit big for this one. But um, I think this is a really cool gadget. And like I said, you get in this packet. So these are sort of like jean ones. So I might stick this on the back of a, um, a skirt or I could use the smaller one maybe on a shirt. But for a lot of blouses and stuff, I will probably use the straighter one. So each pack comes with three different sizes. So you get a small, a medium, and a large in both this shape and in this shape. And like I said, I'm absolutely gutted that Prim got there before me. This is one of those things I've read on tips on sewing blogs and I've, you know, they say, oh, make a template for your pockets. And you go, yeah, that's such a cool idea. And I've never done it. And now I wish I had because I could be selling them and maybe I'd be rich. But these guys have done it. Prim have done it. And I think that this is a fantastic little um, gadget to have in your box if you like using patterns and maybe mixing it up a bit and doing your own thing which is what I like to do with my sewing patterns. So um, hi there, <laughs> thanks for joining. Um, this is the first time that I've done one of these in the evening so the light's a little bit different in my studio and ah oh, thanks for the hearts. Um, and I'm not sure if any of you are interested in sewing or if you just popped in to see who I am. So I am Claire Louise Hardy and I am the Thrifty Stitcher, which is a small sewing school in North London. Now, I'm also an author. I wrote um, The Great British Sewing Me Fashion with Fabric, which was the tie-in book to go with the third series of the BBC Two show about sewing. So pretty much most of my life 
and all of these videos are going to be about sewing. <laughs>